So welcome to the EFM-1. Let's explore how this synth is so different from other synthesizers that we have built into Logic. The first way that we can kind of explore this interface is to just talk about some specific language that I want to use when I talk about the EFM-1. I actually use this language when I talk about any synth, but I think it's especially important when we talk about this particular instrument. Whenever I talk about a knob, you know, any knob or slider or any parameter that I can adjust is going to be called a parameter. The building blocks of this instrument are going to be the waves. So you've got a modulator wave and a carrier wave. So those are the two waves that we're going to be using. And then we also have the FM section. We have global parameters up top. We have output parameters below. So there are output parameters here and output parameters here. Then we have modulators. Now what modulators do, we've got a modulation envelope up here that has the ability to change pitch and FM depth over time. That's what a modulator means. That's what modulation is in any synthesizer. It's a way to control the parameters of a section of a synthesizer over time. In this case, we got an attack, a decay, a sustain, and a release, part of this envelope, which we'll be exploring later. Down below, our volume envelope also has an attack stage, a decay stage, a sustain stage, and a release stage. And these are being applied to volume. So this modulator is affecting the main level output. Down below, we also have a little randomized knob. This can be kind of fun when you hit that and it makes all kinds of crazy weird sounds. We'll go into that a little bit later as well. Then down below, if I open up this disclosure triangle, I see that I have MIDI controller assignments. So the MIDI controller for FM is going to be mod wheel. And so if I turn up, if I play a sound and I turn up the mod wheel, it's turning the frequency modulation up. So that's the intensity of the modulator's effect over the carrier. Now below we also have controlling vibrato. I click here and I just go to touch. That's gonna to be after touch. So when I hold down a note and hold it a little further down, I hear there's a very slow, kind of sickly sounding vibrato. So I'll turn the rate up. Now it's a bit more obvious. So though, that's how this synthesizer is laid out and why it's so different from others because we don't have an oscillator going into a filter, going into an amplifier like you normally would have. Instead what we have is we have an interface that's built around FM synthesis. There's no filter section at all. And that's because the harmonic content that we're going to be creating using the EFM1, we're just going to be using the modulator and the carrier and then affecting the frequency modulation. Sometimes over time, using the modulation envelope, sometimes just by selecting a different harmonic in our modulator or a wave. So that's the basic layout of the EFM-1. Now let's start talking about the global parameters, the modulator, and the carrier. We'll talk about all of these things at once in the next section.